Hello, my name is Mrs. Overish, and this is Math Mania for first and second graders. I'm so happy you're here with me today. Let's learn something new in math. Today, we're going to be talking about subtracting two two-digit numbers within 100. We're also going to be adding an extra step today. Let's go ahead and go over our I can statement. We see I can subtract two digit numbers using expanded form and regrouping. So we see an I can statement that sounds very familiar. Last week, our I can statement just said, I can subtract two digit numbers using expanded form. Now we're adding that and regrouping. Wonder what that means. What does the word regrouping mean? When we regroup numbers, we're kind of just rearranging them. We're moving them from different place values to help with our subtraction. So we can also think about regrouping as rearranging numbers. We also remember that when we're subtracting, we're taking away. You might also hear the word minus. That's also a way we use, uh, that's also a word we use to describe subtraction. So I can put minus, take away. And we also have expanded form. And by now we've gotten really used to using expanded form. And that's when we show the value of digits in a number. So all we're doing today is taking away or minusing or subtracting two digit numbers using expanded form. So using that method where we see all the values and regrouping. So we're going to be rearranging our place values today to help us with our subtraction. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first problem today is 51 minus 25. I noticed that my bigger number is coming first because in a subtraction problem, we always want to have that bigger number first. I'm gonna go ahead and stack it up because that's my first step when I'm subtracting. After I've stacked it up, we've been identifying. We've been identifying by putting squares around our tens place and circles around our ones place. But this week, I wanna take that step out and I want us to just kinda identify by looking or seeing the tens in the ones place. So I see that there's a five in my tens place. I know there's a one in my ones place. I see there's a two in the tens place and I see there's a five in the ones place. So we're taking out that step because now I think we're really good at identifying place value. We know what numbers. So when we go do our next step of expanded form, we already are ready to go. All right, our next one is expanding. So we have the number 51. Remember how we've practiced when we say 51, we're actually hearing the value of the number. So I hear 51. So I know when I put my number 51 in expanded form, I have five tens or 50 and one, 51. The next one's 25. Again, I hear the value, 25. So two tens is 20 plus five ones. Now we have expanded, and this is where we're gonna be adding an extra step today. Before we can subtract, there's something I already notice. So if I were to go right now, say, I know I need to subtract. Let's go ahead, we always start in our ones place. Let's get going. I do one minus five. Hmm. Can I do one minus five? If I was holding one cookie and you came up to me and said, can I have five cookies? Would I be able to hand you five cookies? No way, I only have one. So this is where we're adding this step to regroup. So after expand, before subtract, we need to regroup. We need to rearrange some numbers here so that we can subtract. Because right now, I can't give you five when I only have one. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to regroup. I'm going to take one group of 10 from my tens column just in my top number. 
If I look at my number 50 and I want to take one group of 10, 50 is five tenths. So if I'm taking one away, that means I'm going to have four tenths. If I take one, this 50 is going to be left with four tenths. Four tenths, I know, is 40. Now, that group of 10 has to go somewhere. If it doesn't go anywhere, it changes my number completely. If I didn't put my 10 anywhere, now it would just be 41 minus 25, but that's not our problem and we can't change it. So I need to put my group of 10 into my ones place. If I add one group of 10 to the number one, I'm now gonna have the number 11. I'm essentially just doing one plus 10. Now, the number 40, four tens and 11 ones, that's still the number 51. My number has not changed. 40 plus 11 is still 51. So now I'm good to subtract because guess what? Now I have 11. If I had 11 cookies and you said, can I have five? I'd say sure, because now I have them to give. So now we can go ahead and do our subtraction. So now we have 11 minus five, 11 take away five. What is 11 take away five? 11 take away five is six. Now I need to go to my tens column. 50 no longer exists. So I'm taking 40 minus 20 or four tens minus two tens. I like thinking of it that way because it's such an easier problem, right? 40 minus 20 seems big and scary, but four minus two, much easier. Four minus two is two, so two tens is 20. Now my answer is sitting in expanded form. I look at my last step and I just need to squish it all together. So 20 plus six, my answer is in expanded form. I squish it together and I get 26. So 51 minus 25 equals 26. Let's practice together. Let's try the problem 82 minus 36. Go ahead and write this on the top of your paper. What's our first step when solving a two digit subtraction problem? That's right, let's go ahead and stack it up. I double check to make sure my bigger number is still sitting on top. I know 82 is the larger number because of that eight in the tens place is definitely bigger than the three in the tens place in the number 36. I've kind of already halfway done step two, which is to identify. I already identified that I see an eight in my tens place and a three in my tens place because I noticed them when I was stacking them up to make sure I had them in the right order. Now I just really need to look at my ones place. I can hear it, 82. There's that value of the two, which means two is in the ones place. Same with the number 36. So I have a six in the ones place in the number 36. There we go, we quickly did step two. Let's go ahead and do step three, where we expand our, wor or our words. We expand our numbers out. Here we go, the number 82. I hear it, 82. Hear the value of the number in the tens place, which is 80, and the value in the ones place, which is two. I'm gonna do the same thing with the number 30. 6, 30, 3 tens is 30, plus 6 in the ones place. I've expanded them out. I'm not ready to subtract. I'm not ready to subtract because I see the 2 in my ones place is smaller than the 6 in my ones place. If I was holding 2 M&Ms and you asked me for 6, I'd say, are you crazy? I only got 2. So what can I do? I need to regroup. I need to rearrange my number. I need to put different numbers with different values so I'm able to subtract, all right? So if I look at my two, I'm gonna take from my tens place. My tens place has eight tens. I'm just gonna take one 10. If I take one 10, that's gonna leave me with seven tens. Seven tens is the number 70. Now I need to give that group of 10 to my ones place. I can't just not do anything with it. Otherwise my number would change. It has to go into my ones place. 
adding one group of 10 to the number two is going to give me the number 12. There was a two in the ones place and now I'm adding one group of 10 to the tens place. Now, can I subtract? I have 12 m &Ms. can I give you six? Absolutely. So now if I do 12 minus six, I know this one because I always remember six plus six equals 12. So 12 minus six is six. Now I need to subtract my tens place. I have 70 minus 30. I like to remember this as seven tens minus three tens because that's so much easier to subtract, right? Seven minus three seems so much easier than 70 minus 30. Seven minus three is four. So I have four tens or the number 40. Now I have my answer sitting in expanded form. So I get to do my last step of squishing it all together. And when I squish it together, 40 plus six is 46. Nice job. I'm going to challenge you today with a word problem. I want you to see if you can listen and write down the problem that you need to solve to find the answer. All right, here it is. My teacher made 54 cupcakes. That's so many cupcakes. She then passed out 17 cupcakes. How many cupcakes does she still have? She made 54 cupcakes. She passed out 17 of them. How many cupcakes does she still have? Well, I hear that first big number, 54. I also hear that she's already given away 17. You need to solve this subtraction problem to see how many cupcakes does the teacher have left. Remember, you want to stack it up, identify the tens and the ones, expand the number 54 and 17, and this is the tricky part. Now we need to regroup. We need to rearrange so that you are able to subtract the number in the ones place. Then you can subtract and squish it together to get your answer. I can't wait to see what you can do. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Mrs. Overish and this is Math Mania. I'll see you next time.